Like clockwork, this amazing phenomenon occurs each year in massive swarms on Lake St. Clair, and it rapidly alters the feeding habits of the smallmouth bass and other species as well. Hi guys, Kim Stricker here, and thanks for your interest in my videos. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. During the annual mayfly hatch on Lake St. Clair, some bass anglers have difficulty hooking up, using the excuse that the fish are gorged on flies and would have no interest in biting their lures. On the contrary, fishermen in the know have learned that a presentation change is in order to connect with the smallies at this time. Ooh, big, 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 giant. Oh, giant, come on, come on. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Twitch, twitch. Oh, giant, big, black five pounder. Giant one. But to catch them, it helps to comprehend what's going on below the surface. The mayfly hatch annually takes place the last couple weeks of June during the post-spawn period when many smallmouths are still protecting fry in seven to 10 feet of water. For this reason, I like to cover water with a jerkbait like Strike King's KVD 300. The erratic darting action of this lure really triggers these guarding males and helps you locate them. You'll catch several small males, then ultimately come across a school of the right ones feeding. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I got him. That's a better one. That's a better fish. Oh, yeah, look at that big beauty. Oh, man, get up here. Post-spawn smallies on St. Clair. Love a jerk bait. Oh, look at it, there's another one behind it. Another big one behind it. Oh, this is a riot. Whoa, take it easy, baby, take it easy. Take it easy, I'll get my net. <laughs> But you got there, another one's right behind it. I think we found them. Oh, look at that big, gorgeous, beautiful fish. Come to my net. Oh, yes. There's a dandy. That we've been waiting for. There we go. Look at that. The mayfly hatch is going on out here, but I haven't been seeing many of them actually feeding. So I've been just covering the water with that KVD jerk bait, and it is definitely triggering the fish this time of year. Now that's one of the post spawners I'm looking for. Following a brief recovery period, these large adults gang up and go on the feed, and the mayfly hatch usually kicks it off. The smallies cruise the water looking for bugs on the surface. When there's a chop on the water, it makes it more difficult to spot the smallies slurping up the flies. However, it is easy to spot the clusters of flies drifting amidst the waves. And when you get around the bugs, pay close attention. You'll likely see a fish rise. Ooh, I just saw one come up feed. In fact, my little secret weapon here. My little mayfly. There he goes. Jumped right on it. Jumped right on it. Oh, it's a nice fish too. It's a nice fish. <laughs> you liked my little secret weapon, did you? My little mayfly. Come on over here. Yeah. He's not that giant or anything, but he's a nice solid smallmouth. Hit my secret mayfly weapon. And I'm gonna share that with you right now. It's a weightless baby fat tube. This is a little striking coffee tube. It's their baby fat tube. It's like two and a half, two and three quarter inches long. 
and I'm fishing it weightless. You see, I've got a uh, finesse hook that I often use for uh, drop shotting, and the keeper on it keeps it just like that, but it's weightless. It sinks, but it sinks slowly, and when they come up and they're slurping those flies, this is deadly. It's, it's, it's more the size of what they're feeding on and that little subtle fall and you twitch it kind of like a soft jerk bait and let it fall. Got it, got him, got him, got him. He followed it up. He followed it up. He saw that little mayfly swimming away. There we are. Yeah. A little baby fat tube. Weightless. Ooh, look at that. Just had him barely. <laughs> but that little, that's a number one size uh, finesse hook. Yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. But yeah, you. We're seeing them come up now and then. That one was one that was coming up. There was probably a few there. But again, I'm, I'm covering the water with a jerk bait. That's catching fish too, triggering them. But when I see them, that little tube, that's my little secret weapon. Yeah, there's not much weight to this, this little tube. And that's what's nice about having the SmackDown braid, it casts so much easier. This is 20 pound flash green SmackDown. But I've got that 10 pound liter of gold label fluorocarbon. That's purely a liter material. It, it, in fact, it only comes in 25 yard spools, but it is the absolute best liter material you can buy. Again, I'll repeat myself because it's essential to perfecting this presentation. To greatly improve your castability of this small weightless tube, use Seaguar Smackdown braided line as a main line, then attach a liter about 10 feet in length of Seaguar fluorocarbon. A liter made of fluorocarbon is denser than monofilament and will help the tube slowly sink at just the right speed. Furthermore, it is virtually transparent. Just a reminder, you can find a complete list of the products featured in this video below the video description, including links for purchase. So please, check it out. <laughs> Ooh, that ain't bad fish either. <laughs> Lots of fun, whoa. He ain't done yet, is he? Just an average kind of size. But he was slurping flies. Just a special stage of the season. And a lot of guys are intimidated by the mayfly hatch. It's just understanding it. And the, the, the small mouth are focused up at the flies. So you want something that's either gonna be on the surface or slowly falling like this little beauty. 